No, 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 no! Ah, what? No, what is that? Oh my gosh! No, 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 no! What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here. Today, we're playing The Fish's Tale. That's right, this is a brand new game by Zed Technician, the same person who made The Man from the Window. So it's kind of like we got a new Man from the Window game. And I'm excited because every single one of Zed Technician's games are filled with just a bunch of puzzles to solve, a creepy monster just walking around everywhere. And hey, this one is called The Fish's Tale. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, my, <laughs> my humor is bad. I feel like that's just dad humor, the fish's tail. Uh? Nevertheless, I'm pumped. Let's go and see what the fish's tail is all about. All right, so we just clicked it to start and now we have a cutscene. Okay, let's see what we got here. Is it about a fish? I mean, it has to be, right? I mean, why would it be called the fish's tail? So I'm assuming this is the house of our main character. Okay, what is going on here? Oh, hello. What's going on? Monica, oh, hi. Whoa, her eyes are so cool too. One of them is green and one of them is brown. Are you Angela? Um, or wait, wait, who's asking who? Okay, oh, that's Angela. All right, hey, you know what's crazy? That is an angler fish, which has the light on the top of their head and they live in the depths of the ocean. So an angler fish called Angela, it's kind of like Ang Angela. <laughs> so what kind of voice would Angela have? Like. That's me. <laughs> oh good, thanks for coming, especially on such short notice as well. So, uh, I should probably tell you exactly why you're here before we get started. My involvement in this whole situation began after my father's untimely passing. In his will, he left three things to me. The first thing was his house. It may not look like much, but it's been in our family for generations. The second thing was the $20 he had in his bank account. I feel like we should be paying attention, right? All of these details are always super important. A wealthy man he was not, though his kindness uh, more than made up for his lack of wealth. And the third thing, uh, what? Okay. Oh, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Was his responsibility of keeping the fish asleep. It's not even like, hey, the responsibility of keeping uh, Greg over there asleep. It's just the fish. There's no name. Also, they're just kind of standing outside talking about him. He's like, what? What are you guys doing? Okay, so what's this fish? And that's the part <laughs> I'm gonna need help with. So what do you need me to do? Well, my father had the foresight to leave a set of instructions for me to follow. Apparently, I'm supposed to perform an annual sealing ritual, and if I don't, the fish will reawaken. Wait, 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 so where are you going? Hold on, why don't you just do the ritual first and then leave? It's just an annual ritual, you could do it now. During the, his time here, uh, father was able to enact the ritual entirely by himself. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And I hate to admit this, but because of how embarrassing it is, but it seems the gift must have skipped a generation because I'm nowhere near as adept in magic as he was. I've tried it over and over again, but I can't seem to do this on my own. I always love how Zed Technician's games have so much story in the beginning. You're going into this whole universe where now there's a fish that just needs to sleep. We're walking around is fish people, you know? All right, so what's uh, what else? What else we got? It says, and that's why I've hired you tonight, my friend. Okay. The ritual involves the summoning and gathering of five mystic mystical chains? By splitting the workload evenly, we should be able to complete the ritual and succeed where I failed. She goes on to say, I'll perform the spells to summon the chains and then you will go collect them. Wait, okay, well, all right, fine. It says false water, mournful water. Wait, what was that? I've already transcribed the necessary information onto my laptop. There are five spell crafting recipes in total and also a list of the correct order in which to make them. Allow me to open the correct file and then we can begin. Also, it's 12. Oh wait, I'm, okay, I'm playing as Monica. Let's see, how do I do that? The binding page, the dauntless page, forsaken, echoing, hearkening, order. Uh, summoning order, the echoing, the dauntless, binding, forsaken, and then the hearkening. So they're not in order. It's uh, E-D-B-F-H, so E-D-B-F-H. So I'll just kind of remember it, like Echo, Dotling, Binding, Forsaken, Harkening. Also, what is all this? Can I go here? Can I click Lost Page? Whoa. So there's this secret. Twas a dark and stormy morn when thy scourge did wash ashore. The tear from its mouth did plunge our lands into famine once more. Repose was not found, not by gods and not by lords, until a young lad did quell the beast by his magic curse did stop the hordes. So I'm guessing that fish is just a monstrosity and we're just standing right here. That fish right there is the one that destroyed the lands and 
and it's just sleeping next to your house. Oh, there's so many things. Oh, hold on. Let's let's look at the ingredient list. Uh, I think it's EDBFH. Yeah, okay. So let's look at the echoing page. The echoing seal, one mournful miasma, one broken bone, one spiteful thing, and one idle hand. There we go. And I already have all the necessary components in hand. There's no need to concern yourself with that part. Okay, okay. So what do we have to do? Most people nowadays use a fancy blender or something to mix their spellcrafting recipes together, but not me. No, I've always perfected the more traditional route of using a mortar and pestle. You put the correct ingredients into the bowl and then grind it all together using the pestle that's right next to it. It's all quite easy. All right, um, you, <laughs> you're, you're explaining this to somebody and then the, the caveat is like, hey, if we don't do this right, you know, the lands will just be in scorn and famine and everything will just die. So, Hopefully you get it right. All right, so uh, I'm cooking up some recipes here today. I need a mournful miasma. Where is that? Thank you. We'll put that in there. Uh, we need a broken bone. All right. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I mean, you guys know I've broken my arm. <laughs> it's like, hey, and here we go. I'm like, oh, we already have some. I didn't have to break my arm. All right, we got one spiteful fang. There we go. And then one idle hand. Where's the idle hand? Thank you. All right, there we go. We are now cooking up a recipe there. That should do it. The mixture is complete. Now, all I have to do is pour the contents into the cauldron. Cauldron? What cauldron? Oh, okay, okay. I know putting a metal drum over a bonfire doesn't exactly qualify as a cauldron, but when you can't afford a real one, Sometimes you have to improvise a little bit. If it works, it works. Angela is just so serious. Like, you know what? I get it. I get it. <laughs> All right. So do we take this? All right. Excuse me. I want to see this fish. Excuse me. Hello. Would you like some green liquid in your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> like the first thing I do is I just try to just like mess with this giant fish. I'm like, here, drink up my child. <laughs> Does this smell good to you? Let's put it in your nostrils. Thank you. <laughs> and your other eye. I want to sting both of them evenly. It's funny because this like fish has like normal feet. That doesn't even make any sense. Haha, -ha, I am on top of the beast. I win. Whoa, the moon is giant. Feels like the moon has landed in my backyard. <laughs> Whoa. It almost feels like we're tiny and like this is normal grass, right? And then it feels like this is like a mouse, doesn't it? Are we underwater? What? What is the context here? All right, I I should probably go and do the actual game here. Okay, so we're pouring in this thing and what happens? I don't even know. So we got the uh, glowing green mist. It says, look, the green hue means that I did everything correctly. I think. You mean you're not sure? Nope, but here's the part where you come in. Now that the first chain has been summoned, it should have materialized somewhere nearby. I need you to go find it and bring it back here. So where is it? I don't know. I've never gotten this far before, but father used to always tell me, and from the mist of the cauldron, thy path shall be revealed. So uh, why not try looking in the cauldron and we'll see what happens. Uh, what do we got in the cauldron? Uh, you can faintly hear a voice emitting from the mist. Song Creek Way, North Gate Road. Okay, so this way. All right, that's a pretty handy cauldron. It's kind of like a GPS. She just made a GPS right now. So Song Creek Way and then something road. I did not pay attention. Uh, North Gate, North Gate Road, right? Okay. Wow, we are le legitimately just walking in the forest now. I think this is one of the first games of Zed Technician to like just allow you to roam. All right, so we're walking in the forest now. It's been quite a while. It's a pretty long road. Do we see a chain? Do we see anything? Oh, there's a chain next to all of the chairs. It's like it was supposed to be here. <laughs> okay, thank you, floating chain. I shall grab you. Ooh, whoa, what's going on? Okay, uh, uh, okay, I just appeared here. Oh, there you are. Were you able to find the chain? I mean, I didn't I just appear here? <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Yep. Oh, good, man, and Angela's just so serious. Oh, good, I know I can count on you. Just leave it on the ground near the cauldron, uh, cauldron for right now, okay? In the meanwhile, I'll go ahead and summon the next one. Okay, there has to be some conflict here. Every Zed Technician game has a lot of conflict. There's gonna be some guy running around trying to like smack us. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so I am making the thing right now and I realize that there's more cabinets than I realized. Uh, there's more up here too. All right, but I got it, it's all green. I think that means it's good, right? Okay, let's see what happens now. So, Monica says the reason that we need to do this is that there are things inside of it. Things? Parasites. Nasty little things, really. As the fish begins to wake up, they come out in search of food! 
Oh, speak of the devil. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, what? No, what is that? Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I don't know. It's it's almost like like a it was like a spider thing. Ah, it says tread carefully while you're out collecting the next chain, my friend. Um, that's where I'd be like, you know what? Good luck. I am going. <laughs> it says having just exited the house, the parasite the site should leave you alone, but I cannot guarantee what will happen as they begin to grow hungry. Whoa. All right, we gotta go to Northfield Road and Bethel something. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's go. Whoa, I see things through the trees. I can barely even see them, but maybe we can find some secrets. Hey, how's it going? Excuse me. Hey, 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 come back here. Come back here. Hold on. I'm not scared of you. Come here. Come here. Hey, what are you doing? Can we chase it? I want to chase it around. <laughs> I just realized the first thing I do is I run. I'm chasing it down. It's all scared of me. It's like, is that back, Blake? Ah! Hi, how's it going there, friend? We're going to be buddies. Come here. I'm going to force you to be my friend. Come here. Where are you? Don't run from me. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> He's backing up. Ah, oh, this is fun. I like it. Uh, he's probably gonna hurt me later, isn't he? Whoa, it's like another building in here. I want to like, okay, I, I know I'm gonna probably get transported all the way back there, but I wanted to see what was in that building. I got the next one for you. Thank you, my friend. That's two chains done now and only three more to go. Allow me a moment while I summon the third chain, please. Okay, okay. So now when I do this, there's gonna be more of those little guys running around, huh? All right, this next one is very long. Uh, let's make it though. All right, I just put the last ingredient in, which is false water, which I have no idea what that could even be. Is that even water? I guess it's false water. All right, here we go. I think there's gonna be another parasite that comes out now. All right, the third chain has now been summoned. Now it's your turn again, my friend. Okay then, I'll be right back. Wait, before you go, I have something that I wish to give you. Oh, okay, what is that? Uh, uh, oh, oh, thanks, jewelry? <laughs> Unless you want me to pawn it or something. I, I don't really need it. No, 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 my friend. This is no mere jewelry. This is a protective amulet. My father used to craft these in his spare time. Should anything try to harm you, simply point the amulet towards the assailant and utilize space. The space. Get it? Because you press the space button within your mind. Okay. You must utilize it sparingly, however, for if it runs out of energy, you will need to recharge it by the fire. There's also a small tab on the back that you can use to remind yourself the path you must take, but only once per trip. Keep these in mind. Okay. Now it's getting difficult i bet song creek way john saw road ward so, so wait wait what was it again so i'll remember it song john ward song john ward all right we gotta watch out for parasites are there any parasites out here i'm here to make you my friend oh wait there's a cool house over here i feel like i get distracted so easily so we got song we got john and then oh hello there hi why are you running from me Oh, oh, I just shot it. Okay, cool. That was nice. Hello there. Hi. Boom, boom, boom. Get out of here. Yeah. And then the last one is Ward. Let's blast this guy. This is cool. Oh no, but it's not Ward. Okay, I gotta could probably continue on John and go to Ward. Hello, hello. What? Okay, so do I need to use this if he's running for me? Oh yeah, I do. Right, right here. Get out of here. So I probably have to recharge it by the fire pretty soon. I don't know if maybe I'm not using it sparingly though because it's it seems like he's too close to the road, right? Oh, I think I'm out, I'm out. Okay, I really hope that that was enough. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, let's go get the chain. Okay, I think we got it, I think we got it. That's good. That's good, right? Am I safe? I trust that you've located the third chain. Yep. Good. We're halfway through this ritual now. Thank you once more for your help, my friend. I couldn't have made it this far without your assistance. Hold tight for a moment while I prepare the next mixture. Okay. All right. Now we got the next one here. Let's do it. All right. I think I've made everything. Let's get it and let's go. Angela, is it ready? Yes, indeed it is. Okay, then I'll be back in a flash. Okay. All right. Let's go. So I've got Northview Road, Robbins Road, Millwood Street. Oh, El Mavis Road. Okay. How do we remember all that? So... Well, think of it like, like north, a compass in my hand, robins, uh, what, I don't know, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, how do we remember this? <laughs> I'll just remember it in a weird way. I feel like that's how you remember things. So north with a compass, but then there's a burglar on top and he's robbing, <laughs> he's robbing me. <laughs> and then he takes all of my stuff and mills it in a milling stone and he takes the L. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I see you can kind of remember it though now. Okay, so we have a north compass which we're taking and then we go to Robbins because he's robbing us and he's gonna take it into a millstone. So let's uh, 
Let's go over here. So he's milling it, and then he's gonna take the L. There we go. This is almost like a, a lesson on how to remember things better. Hey, get back, get back. I only have three more shots left, so I gotta be pretty careful here. Uh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I don't wanna lose now. <laughs> I think we made it, I think we made it. We're good, we're good, we're good. Let's go, let's go, come on. All right, yes, that's four change. Now there's only one more, woo! I guess the, <laughs> the trouble in this would be remembering things, right? Because if you go down the wrong path, you would just, I guess, get hurt or something? Okay, so. This is the most complicated recipe, but I think we got it. All right, that should be good. It's green. Nice. All right, the final chain has been summoned and not a moment too soon. I feel like the fish is growing restless. Okay. All right, we got to remember this last one. It's going to be the longest, right? All right, you faintly hear a voice emitting from the mist. So Song Creek Way, we got John Saw Road, Poplar Drive. Oh, that's it? <laughs> really? That's easy. There's a song that John made and it's pop. That's what I'm going to think. So it's song. And then we go to John and then pop. So we go to John. All right. And now we got to keep an eye out for the parasite here. All right. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, uh, all right. All right. It's getting kind of creepy. Uh, we just, we'll just blast them. There we go. Then we run. Then we run. Oh, it's getting harder. It's getting harder. Oh, okay. Okay. It's getting way harder. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, John, John, let's go to Poplar Drive. They're actually going way onto the road now. Okay, all right, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think we got this. I think we got this. I think we got this. Boom, there we go. And then Poplar, let's go to Poplar Drive. Oh, they just popped up. Get out of here. Get, ah, get out of here. Ah, okay, get out of here. No, 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 no. Let's go. Come on, I think we got it. I think we got it. We're good, we're good. Oh, no, 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 that one just popped out of the ground. Come on, let's go. We did it, we did it. Okay, that was getting intense there in the end. Okay, I trust you've brought the fourth and final chain. Yep, <laughs> well done, my friend. On to the final step. We must cast all five chains into the cauldron like so. All right, so. Putting all the chains in. Why couldn't we just buy some chains? That would be pretty cool. <laughs> all right, um, let's see what happens. Okay, is everything good? Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. All right, so this fish is like, man, I can't get any good sleep around here. <laughs> all right, so now do, is it all chained up? Oh, he looks exactly the same. There's nothing different. <laughs> Angela's even like, uh, what? Is that it? Indeed it is. The ritual dictates that the fish will not be able to reawaken again until an entire year has passed. And that any straggling parasites will re-enter their host after some time has passed. So in other words, your work here tonight is complete. Ooh, nice. Please take this. It's what I owe you for your services tonight. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. I may require your help once again in the future, so I'll definitely be keeping your number on hand just in case I require your assistance once more. I'm always looking for odd jobs around town. Give me a call anytime. I certainly will. Hopefully our paths will cross again soon. But until then, I must bid you farewell. Have a good night, my friend. Thanks, you too. All right, so I think, is that it? Or is there more days? I guess that's it. I'm sure you could do it on tough mode, which probably adds more roads, right? But it feels like we didn't even get to discover all of the stuff that's out there. So maybe that's the randomness to this game. But uh, yeah, that was a really fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think it was the creepiness of those like parasites running around. They did look like the man from the window. Like it was like the man from the window, but more in like a creature form. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Hopefully it made you smile. I wanna make you smile every single day. So if you're ever feeling bad, you can look up your boy Dak Blake. We can play some games together and I can cheer you up once more. And thank you again as we go on to 3 million. Thank you for clicking subscribe and joining the Dak Pack. I thank God every day I'm able to do things like this. Whether it's random games, new games, rip-offs, mods. All I want to do is make a smile every single day. So, hopefully you tune into the next one. Probably coming up right now. I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.